I'm starting a brand new project in Unity and I'm putting a halt to the redevelopment of Finding Ice. In this video, I'm going to explain why I made this decision and what I plan on developing. I've been working on Finding Ice for nearly four years now and over that time, my skills have advanced significantly. Not to mention the fact that programming complex features is easier than ever with artificial intelligence, I feel as if it's the right time to move on to something new. I want to create a video game that centers around a grieving woman in which the player must confront some of her deepest nightmares and transform them into dreams. Central to this story will be the treehouse, as you can see on the screen now. Over the past month or so, I've considered using many different art styles, from realistic to low poly. But I've decided to stick with a stylized theme, with a dark color palette that reflects the nightmares that the player is confronting. I want the game to be story focused while incorporating combat elements such as battles against each nightmare. In order to progress through the game, the player must successfully transform each nightmare into a dream, and I see the majority of the scenes being set in luscious forests and landscapes, creating a contrast between the beautiful surroundings and the horrifying situation in which both the player and the woman find themselves in. None of these details are cemented in yet, so please feel free to let me know what you think in the comments down below. This channel is driven entirely by the community, so please go ahead and leave some feedback down below. Also, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. This helps me out a lot and motivates me to continue making games. Now, back to the video game. As you may already know, Finding Ice was launched in August of 2022 and was met with low sales. I believe that the reason for this was me not thinking the story all the way through and focusing on level design and programming. After all, it was my first professional game. But I also believe low sales were caused by a lack of a marketing campaign, something I want to change with the release of this upcoming project, along with the story of course. The funny thing is, before I decided to move on, I was creating a video about how to stay motivated throughout the game development process, yet I, like so many others, have gotten bored and moved on. But I think an essential and vital part of being an entrepreneur and running your own business is recognising when the time is right to leave something behind. I could have easily carried on developing Finding Eyes for another year, maybe even two, for it just to get a handful of sales. But it's about looking at what is cost effective and the best use of your time. And in my case, it's time to move on. Production on this title, or as I'm currently calling it, Game X, probably won't be supercharged until the summer of 2024, when I'll finally have more time to work on it. Until then, I've got to refine my ideas, write the story, and begin laying the groundwork of the video game. Last week, I put up a poll about the future of this channel. I asked if you wanted me to keep making more generic videos on game dev, or if you wanted me to create dev vlogs on my upcoming game and the results were overwhelmingly in favour of posting future dev vlogs and updates. So, I'm inviting you to take every step of the journey alongside me as I transform this idea into something truly unique and immersive. So make sure to subscribe, like and comment to keep seeing more content like this. See you in the next video!